Okay. In this video, we are going to learn about the grouped frequency distribution under exclusive method. Okay. Let's read the entire question. This is just the heading that I thought I'll explain to you. The monthly earnings of various employees in a company in thousands are as under. So you are told that there's a company and there are employees working in the company. The monthly earning in thousands is as under. Prepare a grouped frequency distribution under exclusive method using class size of 10. So the class size here is 10. So in order to see how many classes do we want to form, what do we do? We'll see what is the minimum value out here. 70. So interestingly, 70 is the minimum number out here. Okay. So what are we doing here? We are finding out what is the range of values that we have. So range is basically the highest minus the lowest. So 70 is the lowest one which we have. 142 seems to be the highest and 176, 190, I guess 190 is the highest. So the range is basically 190 minus 70 is equal to 120. And the class size that we are told is that of 10. Right? So the number of classes that we have is 120 which is the range divided by 10 is equal to 12. So we need to have in total 12 classes. Okay. Right. Now in case we are allowed to use the exclusive method only then what will happen is that in the last class we will have to exclude 190. So effectively, instead of 12, we will be required to have 13 classes. I'll show you how this happens. Okay. So let's form our grouped frequency distribution under exclusive method. Now what happens in an exclusive method is, just to explain it to you and the reason why this 13 is coming. Now under exclusive method, let's say you have a particular class. Let's say the class is 10 to 20. Or more particularly, let's say the class is 70 to 80. Because 70 is the minimum number that you have. So when you have the class size 70 to 80, under exclusive method, what happens is you exclude the outer number or the upper limit, as they call it. So when you reach the final one here, what you will get is 190. In which case, you'll need to exclude this particular number. And therefore, you'll need to have this class 190 to 200. Okay. So let's form these classes. The class interval we are told is 10. Okay. So we'll have the income in 1000 rupees. 70 is the starting point, so you get 70 to 80. Let me prepare the rest of it. So how many classes do I have in all? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, which is what I told you here. And this is just because you are using the exclusive method, therefore you are excluding 190 from this particular place out here. Right? So you get your tally bars here and your frequency here. Similarly, for this, also, tally comes 
here and frequency goes here. So shall we start? 70, knock off it, 1, 74, again, two figure in here, 82, 1, 90. Now 90, because this is an exclusive thing, so 90 will not come here, it will go here. 110, 110 is here, but we take it in the next class. 132, yes, 142. 142, 150, it will lie here. 123, 120 and 130, 123 lies between this number, so I put it here. 116, again, 110 to 120, 176, well, 170 to A, 180, 176 lies here. 123, yes, 120 to 130, 123 will lie here, so I put in a mark here. 145, between 140 and 150, right? 162, 160 and 170, so 162 will lie here, 190, okay, 190 to 200, it will lie here, 186, of course, between 180 and 190, 167, 160 and 170, right, 175, yes, 162, quick, 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 where will 162 lie, between 160 and 170, 164, Yes, again it will lie over here, 187, here, right? Putting tally marks is very easy. It's just that you need to be careful whether it's an exclusive method or an inclusive method. And in that case, you need to bear in mind as to what is the upper limit that you have, right? Just do the counting, put it in frequency. So you get two here, one here. 1 here, there's nothing out here, so 0, then 2, 2, 1, 2, again 0 out here, 4, 2, 2, 1. Okay? And that way, you are done with your group frequency distribution under exclusive method. We'll be taking one example where I'll be telling you as to how do you arrive at the inclusive term. Okay?